starting and we're on hello everyone this is right here um this is brenda Kanyan with the realty one group and i'm here at the community state bank with levi morris hi guys and we're going to have some questions and answers and find out more about levi what he does for community state bank and perhaps what he feels like he's doing for the community as well and get a little more personal understanding what what he does for fun. So anyway, Levi, thank you so much for taking your time with me today. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. <clears throat> so let's just dive into some questions. Uh, first of all, tell everybody what you do for a living. I'm a certified financial planner. I work here at Community State Bank. I focus mo mainly on uh, dealing with investments. Uh, but uh, I've gotten more into actual financial planning, whether that be for you know retirement or kids' college accounts or any other planning that you want to do. I help out with that. So. Very nice. There's a huge need for that, and um, I would guess probably a lot. There's more people that could benefit from those services than actually take the time to come in and and go through the program with you. Yeah, <clears throat> truly. So how did you get started with your business? Let's go back to what what drove you to even want to pursue this type of career in the first place. So uh, I was always kind of interested. It started with my college career. I took an intro to investments class and um, they gave us some uh, fake money to mess around with and work in the stock market. And uh, it was during um, 2010 when the market was just coming back. So it was a lot of fun to uh, kind of work at the time when everything did really well so uh, that was kind of what got me interested and then I ended up uh, um, taking a job at a brokerage firm out of college and I found out how, how to get to this point so I followed that track took the right tests and uh, here I am today okay so what years were you in college I graduated from Spencer in 2007 then went to UNI for four years um, I graduated there in 2011, and then I started in Des Moines at a brokerage firm at the beginning of 2012. Okay, very good. So when you were just getting into this business and going to college, the economy was crazy. Yeah, so right when I started college was when uh, everybody was nervous about not being able to get a job when they graduated. So it was very interesting to kind of go through those times and listen to the professors, you know, talk about what current seniors are going through. Oh, sure, definitely. So let's see, uh, there are a lot of other people out there that are in this line of work. What do you feel makes you special and different from well, everyone else? I mean, personally, I uh, can't really say what they do or how they handle their business. A lot of what I like to focus on is the time aspect of investment uh, planning. So if you're going to decide that you want to retire at, say, 62, or you have a kid that's going to graduate in 15 years, uh, you can control what you do in that time frame, so how you invest over those number mm, of years. Mm -hmm. That's what you control. How the market does is really out of your control, and so I really enjoy the planning aspect of, uh, you know, focusing on what uh, individual clients can do. Oh, sure. Yeah, at least knowing what they can control and mm -hmm. making the steps to go that, to that process. So let's see, how did you feel when you got where you are today in your business after going through college and finally getting your office and your own desk and all that here? You feel extremely, it was extremely satisfying because uh, when I started at the brokerage firm, um, I had an idea that I wanted to be an advisor, but how to get to that point, I really didn't know. A lot of luck kind of uh, played a part in it also. I'm very appreciative for um, the bank and what they have offered me here um, to be back in my hometown and doing what I do. I would say that uh, um, in order to get to this point, I had to pass three really lengthy tests, and mm. to be able to do that, it, it feels fantastic to see the results. Wonderful. Congratulations. Yeah, I know it's not easy. I've been in the business just for a little little bit of it, and I understand. <laughs> uh -huh. So what did you do before, before um, financial planning, for instance, in um, high school? What were, were your other, other interests? Excuse me. So here, I grew up in Spencer. I started at Fairway, actually, right when I turned 14, like as soon as you could apply. So I worked there all the way through 7th uh, or 8th grade and 
and then through when I graduated, worked a little bit in college. And then uh, after college, I actually took a job at Hy-Vee right out of college. It was the first mm -hmm. job I was offered. And then uh, that's when I uh, only worked there for eight months and decided that I wanted to do something in finance. So, Very which good. Which is what I went to college for. So. Oh, sure. Okay. And what is one word that you use to describe yourself about where you are and what you have accomplished? It kind of goes back to what I said before. I'm very appreciative. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I, I do feel like a lot of uh, where you get in life is a little bit of luck. I know I put myself in a lot of situations that have, you know, uh, got me to where I am. But I, I'm very appreciative for the opportunities that I've been given because, mm -hmm. you know, I took a job right out of high school that, or, or right out of college that the, the company didn't have to take me. And then that's when I figured out how to follow the path to become an advisor. So I got kind of lucky there too, so. Very nice. Well, you did prepare for it too, though. Oh, yes. <laughs> so what about your personal life? What is your biggest joy in your life right now? Right now, definitely um, my two daughters. I. Uh, I have an 18 month old and a three month old. So those two definitely have uh, changed my life. I would say uh, before you have kids, everybody says your life changes when you have kids. <laughs> yes. And you don't realize it, you don't think that that's true. Um, or that will you think, oh, it won't change that much. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> so the, the joy right now is like uh, a lot of times when I come home, my wife will have either uh, my oldest in the window or just out in the driveway oh. playing around so she's always super excited to see my truck come around the corner oh. <laughs> daddy daddy <Yeah. laughs> that's sweet <laughs> oh oh this is an interesting question what are you really good at um you know i was thinking about that uh and my answer is probably puzzles i enjoy oh, okay. doing puzzles i'm a big sudoku fan so I've always uh, enjoyed those. Uh, a lot of things with numbers and problem solving, I've always mm -hmm. enjoyed. So we play a lot of board games with my wife. Oh, friends, you do? So, yeah. Okay. A lot of, uh, that's also challenges. Kind of what, what we enjoy. Okay, very nice. What is the most important thing in your life and why? Um, right now, uh, it's easily family. Um, I live in my hometown. My parents are here. Um, we're 40 miles away from my in-laws. Uh, we have two daughters, so we are with family all the time. And it's uh, definitely something that um, balances out life, uh, whereas you work all week and then you get to enjoy that time together um, with uh, in-laws, parents, kids. Nice. So it's very yeah. enjoyable. Family is important and then, yeah. Being in such a focused business as you are, it's it's got to be a little bit of a challenge, I would guess, to to balance your work work life and personal life because there's always more of that you'd want in either category, actually. Yeah, when you're uh, trying to focus on you know during the week, um, getting new customers and helping your existing customers, um, it's kind of hard to turn that off at night. You know, you're always mm -hmm. constantly kind of thinking about it. So, um, yeah, I do, I will say though that, you know, you go through, uh, the life experiences uh, that I have. And now that I have children, it's a lot easier for me to kind of understand the challenges that people go through for like saving for college, mm -hmm. because, you know, a lot of expenses come up. Of course, you would love to be able to save more, um, for your kids and pay for their college. But I also know that uh, sometimes that's not feasible, so... Sure, sure. So with mentioning that, I'm going to go off script a little bit. And if you could um, tell us what, give us some, a few scenarios of, of some, some uh, client situations and, and uh, some different things that you would, could possibly do for them or, or services or products to suggest. And just give us kind of an overall so that... Uh, Someone might think, oh, wow, I should go talk to Levi. So I've always dealt with uh, investments ever since I started here, but the financial planning is kind of new for me. And recently, I was able to work with one individual who has three children. Um, their third was just born. Oh. And I was, uh, with my planning, able to um, 
predict how much they would need to save if they were going to pay for all three of their children to go to the University of Iowa. Oh, wow. uh, the program I have has all current tuitions and rates, and then it prorates it forward to you know essentially 17 years from now how much it'll cost oh for the gosh. four years. Wow. So I was able to run that for them, and with that program, we came up that uh, if they were going to cover all of the three kids this college, it would cost them $450,000. So... Uh. With this program, <laughs> with this program, it actually allows you to sit down and see if I'm going to accomplish this goal, this is how much I need to save each month. Um, so when we actually decide on that's the number to save, and then we look at their budget and say, this is actually the number we can afford, there's obviously, if they can't get to that point, there's going to be a little gap. So I help them sure. at least plan and understand that you know, this is the goal. If you want to achieve it, this is what you have to do. If it's not achievable, then that's the gap that's going to exist. So. Oh, wow. Very good. And then what about someone like myself? That's, um, I don't have children to put through college anymore. <laughs> someone that's along in age a little bit. Um, do you have options for someone my age as well? Yeah. So that whole planning process also can be used for retirement planning. So uh, if we were to sit down and you tell me, I want to, this is all, of course, in an ideal perfect world. I want to retire at 65, and at 65, I want to be able to travel, so this is going to be my expenses per year. I'm going to have my house paid off, all my vehicles paid off. I don't plan on making any big purchases, but I want to allot a certain amount per year to travel. Mm -hmm. So with any scenario that you give me, I can give you a rough estimate of what it's going to cost and then uh, how um, much you'll need. So again, it goes back to the earlier comment I said on time. So if that is, uh, say, 20 years from now, we have 20 years to accomplish um, or get the amount that we need to save up, and then we can make a plan together as far as um, how much we need to save and put uh, into the stock market to hopefully achieve that goal. So the whole financial planning is for um, everyone should be doing it. You know, If you're just married and trying to figure out a budget, or if you have kids and trying to see how much college will cost, or if your kids are gone and you want to um, plan for retirement. Uh, there's never a, too early of a time to start that actual process of planning. Very good, very nice, and it's so important. And I know it gives people peace of mind, and to know that they have a plan, it, it's huge. That actually is one of the most satisfying parts of it. When you can give somebody the results from this program, that they can actually see you know, whether or not they're on track, mm. whether they are on track or not is a different story. But actually being able to give them like hard results that shows what they need to do to get there, it can allow them to get the uh, ball rolling in their own life that, hey, I need to make some changes. I need to cut back in certain areas and then work harder in others. So uh, that's one thing that I, that the most satisfactory uh, part of my job. So. Very nice. Very good. Okay. So what would you tell your grandchild today if you were going to try and influence or shape their life? Um, one thing that I would love for them to do, my piece of advice would be to ask questions of uh, people older than you and um, what advice they would give you or um, how they got to where they are. Especially people that you look up to and you maybe aspire to be. So if you have a teacher and that you really enjoy and you want to become a teacher, actually ask them a question um, sincerely about like how they got to that point or what they would recommend. Because people who have gone through these situations will have little pieces of advice that you might not otherwise um, mm -hmm. get to know. Sure. See, one thing that one of the my favorite things about individuals is kind of asking. Um, you know how they got to this point so like when we first started talking today I was mm -hmm. asking you about how you became you know a realtor because I want to know people's past because in a lot of ways that kind of shapes uh, how who they are and how they got there so I would say definitely just ask um, people uh, advice questions and don't be scared to ask those questions because you'd be surprised people will love to talk about you know their advice and how they got where they are sure so. sure very good that's wonderful Okay, just a few more things here. Um, what are you reading now? 
Um, Do you have any current book you're reading? And Yeah, so the one book I am reading is actually called uh, Make Your Kid a Money Genius, um, Even If You're Not. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of twofold because I do have two daughters and it actually is meant to start like working with your kids when they're preschool age. So oh. from a young age, I want to be able to be ready for that. The second thing is that I also want to be able to give advice when people come in and, you know, ask me these questions because, you know, it is very difficult at times to go to a grocery store with your children and kind of tell them no. So, mm -hmm. well, what this book from what I've learned so far, because I'm not finished with it, is that that starts at a very young age. So um, my advice would be to check out that book um, if you have any questions on that topic. Again, it's called Make Your Kid a Money Genius, and it's by Beth uh, Cobliner. So I found it on Amazon. Okay, very good. It's very, very good. interesting because <laughs> it covers everything from preschool to college. So money, many topics. Money is something that... I think there's there's no class on how to teach your children about money. I mean, I, there's a lot of information out there now because of the internet. But um, back in the day when I was young, or when I was when I had children at home, there were no real programs or how to show them them things. You know, we had allowance, and that was about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that sounds great. The book talks about a lot of research that they have done as far as you know what's the best process because in reality. Um, there's a lot of ways, a lot of things that are good. Most people are probably doing it the right way, but this might give you a different perspective on, you know, certain situations. Oh, sure. Um, you know, I wish I would have uh, read it when I was younger, um, and uh, it's just kind of interesting to see how it goes from there. Mm-hmm. Very good. And I can put that in the comments later on as well, um, the name and the title. So. I like this question. How do you create growth in your life? For you personally and then, you know, for someone else? Um, well, we actually had a young professional conference. The state of Iowa had one, held it in Spencer on Friday, and it was one of the topics that they um, uh, had covered was that, in my opinion, I agreed with what they were talking about and that you need to have a balance. So the idea was the speaker was an engineer um, who was um, liked to be uh, more outgoing. Um, and so the way he described it was that most engineers aren't uh, typically that way. Mm -hmm. So what he ended up doing was started doing stand-up comedian uh, gigs on the side at night. So it was a way for him to express himself. And the whole point being is that you have to find a balance in your life. So the big thing with me is just uh, how I find growth right now and just balance. So the you know, things I enjoy are work, um, but then going home to family, and then the last thing uh, is hobbies. So um, we're here kind of talking about, um, or you're a real estate agent. One of the hobbies I like to do is that, well, I've completely remodeled my house. So oh, wow. working on okay. different projects at home is one of my hobbies, and that kind of gives me a little bit of joy out of that, too. Mm -hmm. I wish my daughters were older so they could experience it with me. So I'm trying to <laughs> save some projects for when they can remember. <laughs> Paint things yep. and sure. Maybe not use the saw yet. No. <laughs> Very good. So um, I have a few wrap-up questions I'd like to ask you. Okay. Um, first of all, is there anything else that you would like uh, everyone else to know about your business? Um, anything else that you would like to expand on before we close? I'd say um, the big thing that people need to do is create their own personal financial plan. I'd be glad to help anyone with that. And if you have a financial professional, go talk to them on it. But for you to fully kind of prepare for everything that you want to achieve, you need to have a plan. And it's just kind of each person's you know own personal life too. You're more likely to achieve uh, goals when you've actually laid them out and you have a track to follow. So I would highly recommend um, taking that path, um, you know, setting getting everything put together. You cannot start too young, you cannot start too old. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of getting it all ready, um, wherever you're at in life, um, it's a great idea. So could someone send their high school kid over to talk to you or? Yeah, so on that topic, I actually go talk to the Spencer High School business classes oh, every do. year. Because part of the reason was, I feel like I didn't have enough financial knowledge when I was in high school. And it's, um, 
you know, only a certain number of topics can be covered in your high school classes. So each year, each of the last four years, I've gone and actually spoke uh, to those business classes, and I allow them to ask me any questions, whether it be on banking, credit cards, investments, uh, you know, what what I do if I was starting to invest today. Um, mm-hmm. They ask me a bunch of great questions, and I uh, are hopefully are giving them enough information to kind of go uh, make themselves more financially sound going forward. Sure, sure. You know, when I talk to a young, well, anybody actually who wants to buy a house, I ask them if they've talked to a mortgage professional. Um, and if they say no, I say, well, I'd like you to talk to at least two, if not three, different mortgage professionals to make sure that you're getting all the input that you can and get um, the most out of your conversations. And each bank has a little bit different program that they can offer. So it never hurts to talk to a couple different providers. And anytime you have a money conversation, it's it's a great conversation. You're going to learn something. Yeah, it kind of goes back to earlier. Ask questions. Right. You know, that's the best way um, to kind of figure things out. Ask your parents questions. Ask uh, um, a family friend, somebody at church. Ask anyone a question, you know. You'll be surprised at how willing they will be to give you advice. Mm-hmm. Truly. So I'm going to put in the comments how to get a hold of Levi. Um, but uh, what is your, your phone number? You can go ahead and say it too. Your phone number, email. Is that the best way to get a hold of you? Yeah. So our bank uh, here is located up by the a w and Spencer at Community State Bank. Um, and number here is 712-262-3030. So uh, 262 30, 30, simple enough. <laughs> very good, very good. So because I'm a realtor, um, I have to ask this question. Tell me your the favorite room. We're going to do this two-part question. The favorite room in your own house, why you like it so much, and then if you could design your own favorite dream house room, what would be a, a feature that you would include in something like that? So with our project, we actually come... I haven't told Brenda this, but uh, we actually completely gutted our house. So we at one point had a complete blank uh, slate. So we we were able to design kind of how we wanted it. So one thing that I really love about our house is we have a small, I want to say five by six pantry. It doesn't sound very big at all. Oh, sounds wonderful. (laughs) If you were, if you, we have uh, um, shelves around all the edge from floor to ceiling. If you were to spread it out, it would equate to about 15 linear feet of uh, shelving. So basically a good-sized kitchen. I highly recommend everybody uh, kind of, you know, build one of those in the future. Um, Again, it's just five by six. It's not extremely big. And so my favorite room in the house is we just finished the basement. I have a, a little TV room down there that I enjoy. So Very nice. Very good. Very good. So, um... Do you have any special um, offering that you can that you could give to anybody who has watched the video today? Yeah, anybody who wants to um, come in uh, and mention that they saw me on this video, stop by. Um, you can come and we can do a financial plan for free. Um, come start the process there, and then uh, if we uh, end up working together going forward. We can see how the relationship works, but I would love to have anybody come in if they want to uh, see where they are currently financially and what they need to do going forward. Very good. Very good. Appreciate Wonderful. It. Yes. All right, everyone. Post your questions if you'd like down below, and I will also post Levi's contact information so you can contact him that way as well. So, and if you have any questions, post those and I'll get those to Levi. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Enjoy this weather before it gets cold out. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> Take guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Levi.